Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker as of right now is an evolving franchise past Episode 9 that Disney and Lucasfilm are looking for ways in order to change many elements of the Star Wars franchise and to really focus on Disney Plus and theatrical releases. This is Mike Zero, make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now one thing about Episode 9 is that we do know that this movie was just the very start of the new Star Wars universe. In case you guys did not know, Disney and Lucasfilm are developing a brand new expanded universe as we speak that's going to bring Star Wars into a different direction. And what we really mean by that is they're focusing on books, comics, novels, TV shows, movies, where they're all going to inter interconnect with each other. Just like how it works with the MCU. Now, do I believe that Star Wars is Marvel in that sense? Not necessarily, and it is a big risk on them using this technique. I will say, you know, without a doubt that it is a risk. But at the same exact time, it could work if they don't Marvelize these movies. And what I mean by that is, if the way they make these movies are not like Marvel as far as tone goes, I think everything will be fine and okay as long as they don't touch on that. Now, looking past everything here with Episode 9, and looking into the future of Star Wars, what's rather exciting has all to do with Disney and Lucasfilm's plan for Disney+. Plus. Now, they have over 10 years worth of Star Wars live action and animated material in order to explore many of the core characters that we all know and love, and even some new characters as well into the mix. Now, it's explained that both Disney and Lucasfilm are currently developing over 10 years worth of Star Wars projects, that they are evolving the Star Wars franchise into something new for the Star Wars community, both on Disney Plus and in the forms of movies as well. Now, it's said that one of the big plans by Disney and Lucasfilm is to bring back the character of Darth Vader in multiple ways on Disney Plus, where it's said that they are looking into bringing back Darth Vader into the Obi Wan Kenobi TV series, and that they are currently developing a brand new suit for the character and are looking for new designs of the unmasked version of Darth Vader that they plan to be portrayed by actor Hayden Christensen. Now, not just that, they are also in negotiations of developing a Darth Vader TV series for Disney Plus in the future that would come in the form of live action that would focus on the events after Order 66 and that during the Jedi Purge. However, Disney also has a plan into developing an animated movie that would feature Darth Vader as well that would be photorealistic, that the animation would be something next level and a game changer for Star Wars in general. They have been in the talks to bring back James Earl Jones to do the voiceover work as Darth Vader once again as well for their Disney Plus projects and that they are in the planning stages of using three techniques of bringing back Darth Vader into the mix. But not just that, but they are also looking into bringing back Darth Vader into the Kazian Andor TV series, which will release sometime before the new trilogy drops into theaters during this decade. Disney realizes that Darth Vader is a selling figure, and that they are trying to focus on this character more so, in order to engage with the fans more. So, about, you know, everything related to Darth Vader, obviously they see the success with Rogue One A Star Wars Story and why a lot of fans had a big interest in that movie. Without a doubt, when we saw Rogue One A Star Wars Story, a lot of fans were rooting for Darth Vader. And Vader was mainly done in the reshoots, in case you guys did not know. And with the marketing of Rogue One, we saw tons of Darth Vader-oriented commercials. Uh, I don't know if you guys recall, but there were a lot of TV spots with, like, Darth Vader's breathing and... Darth Vader's helmet from a back view, from like a rear view, if you will. And you can see that Disney and Lucasfilm, they're trying to tap more into the classic characters. Now, obviously, this is their first phase of the new Star Wars universe, and they're going to keep going through multiple different phases, kind of similar to how the MCU is used with phases. And I think it's going to be an interesting way of them doing this. Now, as far as them developing a Star Wars animated movie for Disney+, Plus that would focus on the life of Darth Vader more so, is an interesting project that is in early development. We actually heard about this a couple of months ago, that they were planning on making an animated movie for Disney+, Plus, and that definitely does make sense as to why they are focusing on an animated Darth Vader film. That would be photorealistic. Basically, the animation style would be nothing like the Clone Wars or Star Wars Rebels. The animation would have a photorealistic look to it, almost like as if it's live action. And the reason why they would do something like that is because they can achieve the impossible. They can do all of these different movements for the character of Darth Vader. They can do all these different aspects for the character. But not just that, they're also looking into developing a brand new live action TV series that would focus on Darth Vader. 
whereas the movie itself would be an animated form. So you can see what they're trying to do with Disney+. Plus. They're really trying to do all these different techniques, all these different styles. Obviously, you know, Disney and Lucasfilm, it seems like they don't want to make a dedicated live-action Darth Vader movie, but this would be in the form of animation. And it would be a different type of animation. It would be something more photorealistic. Nothing like Star Wars Rebels. Nothing like the Clone Wars Season 7 or the older, you know, uh, the older seasons of that show. It would be nothing like Star Wars Resistance. We are talking about video game cutscene type, you know, material. Type graphics. And that's exactly what they're aiming for. So, with that being said, guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.